Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you today uh, one of the new projects I bought. Now, this car maybe you've seen in a couple videos. This is actually an inc incredibly rare Mark III. Now, if anybody knows anything about Mark III's, uh, 98 was the last year here in America for the Mark III chassis. After that, it went to Mark IVs. So what we have is a 98 leftover driver's edition. What I mean by leftover is basically there were no driver's edition cars in 98, but they came with all the stuff like they're optional extras so you get the de wheels uh, steering wheel shifter leather seats or the flag seats you know all that kind of stuff but what this car is is an extremely rare color and an extremely rare option not only is it a five-speed manual vr6 it's also a one year only color it is a porcelain blue GTI. Now, if anybody knows anything about these, these are probably one of the most sought after colors. This one is obviously very rough. This car was supposed to be just a uh, paint issue car when the guy brought it to me. Um, he actually drove it to my shop. He was a, a friend of one of my co workers and he apparently built this like 10 years ago and then never really drove it which is always kind of a little red flag so he brought it to the shop anyway it's old colors faded whatever i figured eh, i just need a paint job he was asking a decent amount of money for it but still if i would have bought it at that and the car would have been perfectly fine get the paint work these cars are worth a lot of money i see them listed higher and higher every day because it's, it's such a rare car Anyway, so the price I was going to pay, I didn't pay. Um, not only one, because I'm cheap, but two, on the test drive, it, it got rod knock. <laughs> so, um, we'll talk about the engine later. But then the other big issue was what I told him originally. I said, you know, I don't want to get a rusty car. I want to give you a look underneath. Um, I want you guys to look at this and think what would you do in this situation let's see let's see here are the side skirts and yeah that's the floor rocker it's it's like that on both sides it's it's pretty well cooked a spider web on you sorry the floor is pretty well cooked now I've done lots of rust repair and restoration on buses and bugs and all that kind of stuff. That's what I that's what I used to do. I used to do a lot of restoration stuff, but um, so I, I'm not against doing it. It is kind of hard finding this stuff. You know, you got to find. You don't want to buy patch panels because patch panels are never enough if that makes sense because these are sandwiched together so it'll be like three or four different pieces that make that floor pan and make that rocker so really what you need is a good solid car and cut everything out here you see paint's faded the interior is actually really nice hey look there's my extension my wife left got nice black leather interior all the way around oh, the, the back seats i folded down um, because I had to I had to put the bumper in the back because I actually had this towed Get triple-a triple-a is a great great thing So you can see it has the driver's edition shift knob driver's edition e-brake silver button um, This actually has like a reverse face cluster. So it's kind of neat. Um, I, I'd show you but I can't right now Some sort of Bluetooth up here OEM Volkswagen sunglass holder. That's pretty sweet. Um, the headliner isn't the greatest, but it's not the worst. You can see all the interior pieces are here, and they're all pr pretty nice and pretty mint, honestly. So anyway, um, it does have a shaved hatch, but wasn't done correctly. Uh, you know, hatch spoilers kind of buggered up. Rear bumper was 
aftermarket one is repainted. It has a little buggered up. It's got the DE wheels. Yeah, the interior, the interior, honestly, is the nicest part of this car. Um, it's not wrecked anywhere, so I think I think it was an excellent deal for what I paid. Let's get to the engine. All right, so you can see it has a, a front bumper with front smoked turn signals, all that stuff. And then it has a, uh, it only has the Euro core support, or sorry, Euro bash bar, and then everything else is US. But looks it looks decent. You know, somebody obviously backed into it and cracked that. Yeah, so it is, so it is a VR car. It has a clone intake manifold, which I got to take off real quick and, and give it to my buddy. Um, but you see it has a bunch of like cool stuff. Like look, it has, th he said this was the last VR6 coolant bottle in the country. So that's pretty cool. It has a limited amount of miles on it. Um, but yeah, it has, has a rod knock, unfortunately. Now this was a not really a built thing like i think it's got rod bolts it might have head studs let's see now it has head bolts but um this actually is bored out so this does have the euro corrado pistons and stuff like that so this is technically a 2.9 so the engine no matter what has to come out and i have stuff to fix this i have crank i actually have forged pistons for a 2.9 so all it would be is just buying some stuff putting it back together um could put a head spacer on it could also buy some cheap rods throw them in there and leave it at 10 to 1 with my forged pistons and uh have it ready to party so yeah i just wanted to show you guys this um you can see it is definitely past it um, my wife wants me to kind of save it. Um, it does seem like a lot of work. Like I said, I'm not against it, but we just got to figure out what makes sense. Um, she's really fighting me on turning the Mark II into an all-out race car. So maybe something that's already kind of boogered up like this would be an easier transition. You know what I mean? Uh, though it is a very rare car. So I have to see. Just, uh, you guys leave some comments. Yeah, look at my mustache. I see it. Just, um, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think it should be saved? Do you think it should be just parted? I don't know. So, yeah. Just a little quick video. A little quick update. So, yeah. Just, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.